Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. In this video, I'm going to show you some tricks that you can use to reduce the size of your build. This will work for mobile games, uh, desktop games, console, any other platform that you're going to. So what I have here is a project with some spaceships in it and a couple audio files. They're just uh, music files. So the way I do this is start off by building our project. So I have this one scene here with pretty much everything in my project. And I'm just going to build and hit build let it go so you will want to build out what your actual project is so just do like a normal build as if you were going to send it out to somebody and then uh, once it's done you want to go to the console window and right here there's a little drop down to open the editor log so just click on that and it'll open up in your default editor I usually try to go with notepad plus plus just because it will automatically uh, refresh or allow me to refresh when there's changes but this works too so now I've gone to the bottom of the file just hitting control end and then I want to do find, just control F, and I go in the upward direction and I search for build report and hit enter. And then this will find me the most recent build report. The reason I go to the bottom and search up is that this file, you can tell with this little tiny bar here, it's pretty big. It's full of different build reports and I want the most recent one, which is going to be at the bottom. So if we look here, you see that textures are by far the biggest chunk of my project. Uh, almost half of it, 34 megs, which is a lot for, you know, you saw how many files were in there. It's pretty small. There's a couple spaceships. doesn't need to be that big. Uh, the other thing that stands out is sound. Uh, meshes are a little bit big, a little bit harder to optimize, though. So what we're going to hit are the textures and sounds. Those are usually the, the big points. Most of the time it's textures. Some of the time it's a couple audio files that don't get addressed right. And now if we look down a little bit further, you'll see... We actually have a report for each individual file by file size. So if you're going through your project, you may notice that the top three or four files are most of your project. I've seen that before. They're just a couple giant textures or a couple giant audio files. And those are an easy thing to definitely hit. But here we have just a big selection of textures. I shouldn't say big. A medium sized selection of textures. And then we have our FBX files and uh, we also had like our third file here is actually a wave file it's just the music so let's go in and fix this so i'm going to go back over to the editor and go to the project view and the first thing i want to look at is the textures so all of my textures are in this textures folder and if i click on one we can see in the preview the size of the texture we can see some of the import settings and I look at this one it's 1024 by 1024 and i believe that's uh this ship right here and then if I go to these other ones, you notice already that they're 2048. So these textures are already bigger than the exist in the other one, and the other one looks fine. So we'll probably shrink those down. And all of these textures are relatively large, and they're not compressed at all. So what I'm going to do is just select them all. Now we could do these. Oh, I want to do it down in the project view. We could do these one at a time. Usually I'd go through maybe one at a time or maybe in a little batch. But here I, I know they're all pretty much the same texture, just different colors and tints slight modification so I don't need to worry too much and now what I want to do first is just change the max size so usually what I'll do is step it down uh, one or two levels see how it looks and then decide if if that's bad or good so if I go too far down like maybe I go to 128 we should start to see some really bad artifacting everything looks pretty blurry but if I go up to maybe 512 let's see that uh, looks pretty similar to the 2048 if I go to 1024, we should see maybe a little bit of extra quality pop on. And yeah, I think that's probably good. Now let me go back to 2048 and let's see if you can even see the difference. Uh, not really. I can't tell the difference. And in this game, you know, these ships aren't going to be, you're not going to be right up looking at them. So they're relatively far away. We probably wouldn't even notice the difference if we went to 512, if we're being realistic. So set it to 512 and then I'm going to enable crunch compression and I'll just leave it at 50 leave it at the default value as you adjust this you can shrink the file even further but 50 is an okay number and we should come up with better sizes so now let's do another build and see what that's done for us so build settings build and hit save and then once this is done we'll check that editor log and get an idea of how much space we actually saved there just by changing those textures and it, like I said, I couldn't really tell the difference between the textures. And in an actual game situation, I definitely wouldn't be able to tell. So let's open up the editor log again. Go to the bottom. Search up again for whoops, 
build report. And you may notice already that we're not even at a megabyte. So we went from 35 megs to 650K. We've already drastically decreased the size of our project. Now the next thing that stands out right here at the top is this wave file. So let's cut that down too. So what I'm gonna do is go back into the project and I have some sound right here and I have these two audio files. Now, there are some options here. I think, uh, sorry, by default it came in like this where the quality is at 100 and preserve sample rate is on. So this is actually bigger. The original was, let's see what the size is here. Oh, I guess about the same. So the two things that I would change here are adjust the thing to optimize sample rate or if you are if you know what you're doing a little bit, go to uh, override and just pick a sample rate that makes sense for the, the sounds that you're hearing. For voice and music, you kind of need to vary, make it sound right. But I'm just gonna go to optimize and then just turn the quality down a little bit. Now I've tested this with music files, um, sound effects, most of the time, I can't tell the difference. Now, I have to admit that my hearing's not the best. I had a lot of really loud speakers as a teenager and kind of blew it out. But even going all the way down to a one on the quality, and watch the file size here, I couldn't really tell a difference. And that dropped us down to 360K from 2.7 megs just by sliding that down. Now again, you'll wanna go through and do it and listen to the files in game and make sure that it still sounds okay. There could be cases where you wanna have higher quality there. It definitely for important stuff, make sure that you pay attention to that. But in general, you can usually cut that way down and when it comes to build sizes, getting it small is almost always really important. So let's do one more build, take a final look at the build report and then wrap this up. Okay, it's done. I'm gonna open up that log one more time. Oh, gotta go to the console tab and open editor log. We'll go to the bottom one more time, search up again for build report. And now you can see that our sound is down to half a meg. So we were at, I think it was 2.8 megs or something. And now we're down to half. So now we've shrunk the build drastically. I think what about almost 40 megs in size. And this is on a small project on a bigger project where you have a lot more textures, a lot more sound files. You'll find a lot more room for optimization like this. And again, you'll want to go through and look at the assets as you adjust them, make sure that they still look good. Some assets, super high quality textures are important, but most of the time stuff that's far off in the distance or it's gonna be covered in particles or just is small enough that you can't tell the difference, you can cut those textures down drastically, save a ton of space, make your install size smaller and your download size smaller and make everybody happy. So hopefully this is helpful for you. If you have questions about it, feel free to drop a comment below. If you liked the video, of course, don't forget to like and hit subscribe. Um, and thanks for watching.